everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing um, a really requested video actually it's my makeup collection and storage video um, this is why I'm actually stuck behind the camera and you can't see my face I mean today you wouldn't want to I'm having a lazy day at home because I've been working a lot recently so I'm taking this time to just chill and I'm bringing a makeup collection to you guys which has been really requested since I um, posted on my story on Instagram about redoing my makeup room and you guys all wanted to see it so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm literally just going to give you a little overview as far as I can stretch out. There is a desk in the way but I'm just going to give you an overview of the makeup collection. This room is literally like my pride and joy. Sometimes I just sit in it and just, just have a look and take everything in but yeah this is the um, PAX units from Ikea um, these are actually made for walk-in wardrobes but you can customise them to how you want it doesn't have to be a walk-in wardrobe um, originally I first just started off with this section and this section with very minimal drawers um, but I wasn't happy I decided that I wanted to expand the collection expand this room make it a little bit more a little bit more girly, a little bit more inviting. I was, I felt like I didn't want to come into this room. I didn't want to come in and create looks. So I decided to splurge and finish it off. Um, and yeah, so I literally added the middle unit, added all the lights, and yeah, I think this roughly cost me around six hundred pounds um, to do the whole storage. The units are actually quite cheap on their own, but when you're adding like all the drawers, all the lights, all the glass shelves, just adds up very, very quickly. And some of my favourite perfumes, we've got the Tom Ford Black Orchid, um, etc, etc. And then if we come down to the second drawer, we've just got some more decorations, we've got my Gucci belt, um, a few mirrors, and my current favourite fake tan, which is Filter by Molly May, it's such a beautiful fake tan. Um, and then if we move over to the middle shelf, we have got a few um, Jeffree Star liquid lipstick boxes up there, um, another Charlotte Tilbury box, a Beauty Bay box, um, a little cute little light up lips um, that my mum actually got me which was cute. Here I've got the um, Brow Superstar kit from Benefit which comes with six full size Benefit products. Um, I think I paid 50 £54 maybe for this and for four for six full size products it's literally amazing and I also loved the box for decoration. We've got the P. Louise base vault which has got loads of bases and um, I love the base vault. I love the P. Louise base Um I will always use the P. Louise base regardless. Um, it's just such a beautiful product and it makes your eyeshadow look flawless and then we've got um, a fan from the Carnival palette from Be Perfect when they sent it me in PR. We've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Christmas glitters. Um, I haven't used these a lot but um, they are stunning regardless. And then I've got um, two of my favourite products at the minute which is the Charlotte Tilbury products. Um, we've got the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Um, and then we've also got the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So this is my pigment and glitter drawer. So I'm just going to go a few, a few of my favourites with you. Um, because there's a lot in here and it'll take us days if I was to show you every single pigment. Um, but of course we've got all peaches and creams down this side. Beauty, we've got I Am Iconic. We've got the OPV Beauty Pigments. Um, which I absolutely love the OPV Beauty Pigments are such beautiful um, pigments for glam, brown, golden looks um, we've got some Be Perfect ones, we've got um, Helene, we've got Colourpop, we've got um, Lit Cosmetics um, which I've actually got back into, I bought these quite a while back um, but I've started using them again recently and they are stunning um, my favourite shade is the Margarita um, such a beautiful iridescent glitter and yeah I've got a few MAC ones obviously your holy grail MAC ones that's vanilla and um, what's this one tan just the oldies but the goodies um, and yeah that is the main ones that I tend to reach for in here um, 
and yeah the OPV beauty ones I mean I'm not gonna go through it all because it's gonna take me days but yeah that's my pigment and glitter drawer and then if we move down I'm not gonna open this drawer because everything falls at over when you open it because it doesn't go right back we've got um skin prep and moisturizers etc etc and um, my holy grail bobby brown and um, vitamin enriched face face which is beautiful on the skin on its own or before foundation and um, we've got the morphe continuous setting mist and um, we've got a few color pop items and yeah um just some setting sprays some iconic london's max max flex plus the holy grail obviously everyone has it um yeah so that is my priming drawer so this is my foundation and concealer drawer as you can tell i absolutely love the nars natural radiant which is this one here and um, it's such a beautiful foundation um and i will always repurchase this regardless um, so this is definitely in my top five i love the shades stromboli um, and punjab on myself um, and then we've got some of the huda beauty uh, fox filter um, foundation we've got the urban decay we've got the naked skin from urban decay and a stasia one we've also got a few color pop stick foundations um, we've got a lot of the giorgio armani foundations again i used to work for urban decay and we got discount on um, giorgio armani um, yeah lots of them and uh, what else do we have in here we've got some of the mac face and bodies um, a few of the ordinary i love the ordinary foundations and we've also got a few of the nars radiant tinted moisturizers um, if you know me and you follow me on instagram you will know how much i rave about this product um absolutely love it for going on holiday um, or just if you want in a minimal coverage um, and then we've got we've got a RCMA foundation color palette so great for if you do client work you've got a lot of different shades um, for your clients if we move down to um, below the foundations we move to my skincare um, fake tan body glows body moisturizers everything like that so everything like body related more personal to me a little bit and um, this drawer is actually full of everything um, we've got some um, sol um, body glows from Colourpop which just look like that um, we've got some pixie plumping collagen masks I love pixie and um, we've got some pixie glow tonic cleansing cloths um, that I'm actually yet to try we've got some pixie glow tonic which is a holy grail I feel um, we've got pixie glow tonic cleansing gel um, we've got a random Charlotte Tilbury foundation and um, this is the airbrush flawless foundation I'm yet to try this but I'm just going to show you how beautiful the packaging is but look how aesthetically pleasing that is absolutely stunning I love Charlotte Tilbury it's one of my favorite brands especially for myself um, so we've got that and um, we've got some barley body fake tan we've got some scent marates we've got some tanologist and um, we've got some Clinique take the day off um, which just looks like this so I'm trying to get into my skincare a little bit more so um, once I've tested these products a lot I will let you guys know what I'm thinking and um, we can do like a skincare video on YouTube if that's what you fancy um, we've also got the pixie um, glow tonic serum which is really really nice and refreshing and um, just to put on your face in the morning if you don't fancy wearing a full face of makeup that day um, so yeah that is that drawer so along the top of here we've got um lots of doll beauty lashes um some of my favorite stars from doll beauty are the chloe elizabeth the samantha um and yeah them two faves um but we've got a lot of selection over there and that is literally just my lash drawer and um, for clients i tend to use primer lash um yasme um what else do we use clients mainly just them two and um, depending what i'm feeling on ordering really i do tend to switch i don't stick to just one brand but at the minute i've been loving the primer lash for clients okay so in this drawer we've got some of my favorite palettes and um, this is the be perfect clientele palette next i also love um the be perfect carnival xl pro palette if you follow me on instagram i tend to use this a lot in my one-to-one -one lessons um 
such a beautiful palette again please mind that most of my palettes are dirty but um clearly i don't clean them but yeah beautiful beautiful palette i would recommend that if you do a lot of client work and a lot of colorful looks um we've got a few of the morphe time jacqueline hill palettes i don't really tend to reach for these but i'm a hoarder and i don't bin anything so yeah um, we've got the EYM Brights palette from Beauty Bay. I absolutely love this palette. It's full of a lot of beautiful shades, especially if you do a lot of colourful work. You've got a lot of colour in one palette for only like £25. Um, this row of blue shades and purple shades are definitely my favourite and the most loved, especially the blue. If you know me, you know how much I love blue and yeah love this palette if there's any palette i would recommend from this drawer it's definitely the eyn and the xl pro palette um from stacy murray time to be perfect and um, we've got the kat von g alchemist palette honestly this palette is very deceiving it's such a stunning palette like my clients are so shocked when you apply this onto the lid um because you don't expect it to be like it is i'll just swatch one for you now so i'm gonna swatch the um blue sapphire shade this is stunning especially for inner corner highlights just do a close up I'm gonna swatch another one because we might as well while we're here um, I'm gonna swatch ultraviolet which is the purple I think again I think this part cost me £24 maybe um, it was quite, quite a while back so I can't really remember but around that price range so that is Ultraviolet and Blue Sapphire from the Alchemist palette. So the second eyeshadow palette drawer down, we've got a lot of the Huda Beauty um, Obsessions palette. I was very, very lucky to be gifted these. Um, a few items in this collection are obviously gifted. Obviously I buy a lot of things as well, but I'm so, so lucky to receive um, items in PR. So we've got the Huda Beauty um, Amethyst, Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, um, We've got the Violet Voss Pro Palette, we've got a few of the Anastasia ones, we've got a lot, a lot of Colourpop. Um, I'm an ambassador for Colourpop, so they're very, very generous with their um, PR packages, which is honestly amazing, like, I'm so, so lucky. Um, so yeah, I'm going to open this drawer up so you can see a little bit more of what's in here. Um, towards the front we've got um, a lot of the little um, Colourpop palettes, we've got the Orange You Glad. Um, these are really, really stunning palettes from Colourpop, actually. Um, they're small enough that you can travel with as well, which is perfect. Um, I actually got this one sent yesterday, which is the Mint to Be. How beautiful are them shades? I love the greens. I'm going to try and do like an in-depth tutorial this week, um, because I get asked a lot of that on Instagram. Um, so yeah, whatever you want, guys want, I will deliver, or I will at least try. Um, we've got another Colourpop palette which is like um, a ready made one um, with some beautiful single shadows. I also love the Topshop makeup range and um, I love the Chameleon eyeshadow. They just look like this. But again, such a beautiful iridescent eyeshadow. I'm going to swatch it to show you. That's what that one looks like. We've got the Mitchell, Me, Myself and Mama Mama Mitchell palette. I don't tend to reach for this a lot, but it's a stunning palette um, with lots of variation of colour. So this third side um, is my lip drawer. Um, this one is more in um, brand order. And then over on my dressing table, I've got my single um, lip glosses and lipsticks. So if we start in this area here, um, these are all Milani um, and these are the matte satin um, lip products. They very, very kindly sent me the big lip vault that they brought out. All Milani and then these ones to this side are all the Milani lipsticks. Um, and then over here we've got the Milani glosses. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful product. And then to the middle section we've got all the peaches and cream glosses. Um, Peaches of Cream is probably one of the main brands that I've reached for in this. Um, I love the Suede lip gloss, um, which is this one here. Suede is my favourite. Um, and then we've got more of the Peach nude range they brought out, which if I'm honest, I'm not so keen on. I prefer the original nudes, but these are still beautiful. Um, 
just personally I don't like them on myself um, and then over on this side we've got some Huda Beauty, we've got the liquid matte, we've got the demi mattes and we've got the lip, lip strobes so here is a liquid matte and a demi matte just here from Huda Beauty um, the lip strobes are lovely as well, I mean I haven't had a chance to use the lip strobes properly but when I get round to it I'm sure I will love towards the back we've got all Colourpop We've got the Colourpop lipsticks, we've got some Colourpop plumping glosses. Then we've got some Amore Beauty liquid lipsticks, we've got some more Colourpop liquid lipsticks. And then to the other side we've got some Urban Decay lipsticks, some NYX butter glosses, some MAC lipsticks, a Jeffree Star one. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to quickly grab my container from over on my dressing table just to show you a few of my favourites in here. So I've got two of these containers over on my dressing table which contains my lip liners and um, liquid lipsticks um, and yeah lip glosses. So here we have um, my bronzers, powders and blushes drawer. Um, everything I've talked about in this video will all be linked in the description below as well as all the containers and um, the containers I cut my other lip products in everything like that so you guys will know exactly where to purchase if you do want to. Um, so in this drawer we've got some of my favourite bronzers, um, I absolutely love um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishers, if you know me I cannot do a client makeup without these, um, such beautiful beautiful products, um, as well with these I sometimes feel like bronzer can go very very patchy um, whereas this product has never let me down, um, my favourite shade at the minute is Give Me Sun um, from the mineralized skin finish range I love this as well through the crease as an eyeshadow something very very minimal but lovely we've got the NARS um, Laguna which is a classic um, we've got a little NARS blush in Gina which is a really really cute blush perfect for travel because it's only very small Kiko bronzers um, we've got the Trusty Heal the Benefit, we've got a Milani Luminoso Blush, um, a Milani Bronzer, Lottie London Tantime Bronzer, um, we've got some of the old school Bourgeois, um, which I find is nice for paler clients, um, we've got some of the Doll Beauty Bronzers in the shades Medium and Medium Deep, I'll just open one up to show you what they're like. Again, lovely through the crease in the eyes as an eyeshadow. Um, we've got some NYX, some Makeup Forever. We've got a Primark bronzer, um, a Too Faced, um, another Benefit blusher, which is the Galfonia. Um, and then for this side, we've got the NARS Cream Blush Orgasm Palette. Really stunning palette, actually. I haven't had a chance to use this a lot, but the times I have, it's really, really nice cream blushes um, we've got the Huda Beauty powder an RCMA powder um, Beauty Bakery Laura Mercier Derma Blend um, Bodyography, we've got MAC um, and so on then towards the back we've got a Kat Von D um, bronzer palette, we've got an Anastasia cream contour we've got a MAC single blush palette which I've added my own blushes to um, and then further along the back we've got some more powders, we've got some Illamasqua highlighter and blusher um, and then we've got some more Colourpop cream cheeks um, palette, so cream blushes um, and, yeah. and then over here we've got some more Colourpop products, we've got some stick foundations um, and highlighters which I actually haven't had a um, chance to use just yet but um, when I do, I think it'll be beautiful. I think these will be lovely for um, holiday. When you only want very minimal makeup, but you still want a flush of colour, um, I think they'll be stunning. So we've got them. And then we've got some more towards the bottom. Again, blushes. I have seen that people use these on the eyes. So I would like to try that. Um, but yeah, that is that drawer. And then just towards the back, We've got like some Bella Pierre cream contour palette and a revolution stuff I don't tend to reach for as much is at the back um, but yeah that is that drawer in this next drawer we've got highlighters and um, 
you've got the Huda Beauty Golden um, Sand Edition, which is again a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, really, really nice. Um, we've got a few Anastasia, so we've got the Glow Kit, we've got um, the Sun Dipped one, and then this is the Ultimate Glow. Again, I clearly need to clean my palette. And then towards this side, we've got a few of the very, very well loved um, Doll Beauty highlighters. At the minute, I've been loving the Pretty Little Glow from Doll Beauty. When I ordered my lashes, they very kindly sent me this one, and I've been loving it. It's such a stunning highlight. I'm going to swatch it for you actually so you can see. But it's got like um, a rose gold reflect to it, um, which is really, really stunning. Yeah, really, really beautiful highlighter actually. And then we've got the Doll Beauty um, Champagne Supernova Duo. We've got um, some MAC highlighter. So in this drawer we've got um, all of my loose Gypsy Shrine glitters. And we've got a lot of Colourpop um, glitter body. And we've got some more... Um, Gypsy Shrine ones, um, some more little smaller colour pop ones. Um, we've got some Gypsy Shrine um, neon pigments that don't fit in that drawer, but still wanted to keep them. Um, we've got some Gypsy Shrine clipping hair extensions, um, some Halloween gems. We've got some glitter peel off glitter glue, and then we've got some more colour pop glitters. And there, and that is that drawer. And then, if we move down to this one, and um, this is more for like my creative Halloween work if I'm fancying doing any that year. And um, we've got spare brushes, we've got my wig, and um, we've just got some um, nose and scar wax, some face gems, and um, Meron Gypsy Shrine face painting palette, and um, just those little bits and bobs. That we would never reach for for a normal makeup, but for creative work, it's always nice to have. We've got another um, peel off glitter glue from the Gypsy Shrine, um, and yeah, just loose glitters and just random stuff in there, really. So that is a main run over of my makeup collection. I hope you guys um, enjoyed seeing um, a little insight to products I use on clients, products I love, and um, everything like that. Um, as I said, like brushes and other brow products are currently on my dressing table, which isn't worth showing you. Um, if you want to know where anything else is from, please feel free to just comment in the comment section below. And um, like I said, I will list a few things in the description. But yeah, that's it for now, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye.